so much for me. Well, good morning and welcome to another sunrise here with Pastor Hayton. I've been talking about the Apostle Paul, the time he wrote to young Timothy, and he said, The time of my departure is at hand. I'm ready to leave this old world for the next world. And you know, I talked about how that time's coming for all of us. Barring the second coming, we're going to come down to the end of this life, and we're going to look back, and there are some things that I want to know when that time comes for me to go. And uh, I mentioned a couple days ago, I want to know that my sins are covered by the blood of Jesus. That's the most important thing in all the world, is to know that our sins have been forgiven, that the blood of Christ atones for every sin. Then I mentioned yesterday, I want to know, when my time comes to go, I want to know that there's nothing between me and my fellow man. Just don't think that uh, we can uh, really live a life that's pleasing and acceptable to God. We cannot really be right to God with, to, with God and be wrong with our fellow man. So today, I sang a little chorus there, I wonder have I done my best for Jesus. And you know, I want to not wonder if I've done my best, but when my time comes to go, when it's time for me to leave this old world and stand before my maker, I want to know that I have done my best for Jesus. Now, you know, my best may not be very good. I often wish that my best were better than what it is. I often do wish that my best was as good as somebody else's work, but you know, all God asks of us is to do our best. He told us in his word that if we would be faithful unto death, that he would give us a crown of life. And we have the admonition in the scripture that we are to be found faithful. And I believe to be found faithful is simply to be doing our best for the Lord. Now the song that we sang, I wonder, have I done my best for Jesus? I think deep down in our heart, we can know whether we've given him our best or not. Now, God called me to preach at a very young age. I've often shared my testimony. It's how I was saved when I was very young, and I felt the call of God upon my heart at a young age. And for the past 46 years, I've been trying to preach the gospel, and I look back, and I'm sometimes a little disappointed with the success or the lack of success that I've had, and sometimes I'm a little bit dismayed at uh, how poorly I have done, but I know in my heart that I've done my best for the Lord. And you know that's what God requires is for us to do our best. And so when my time comes to go, I want to know that I have given him my very best. I want him to know that he's had my best in in my Christian walk. It's sometimes a little difficult. The way may be a little bit rocky and rough sometimes, but we give it our best shot. I want to know that I've done my best in Christian service, just doing the work that God has called me to do. And I, can, I think that I can pillow my head at night knowing that I have done my best for the Lord. So I ask, how about you? When that time comes for you to go, do you know that your sins are covered by the blood? Do you know that there's nothing between you and your fellow man? And do you know that you've done your very best for the Lord? He's done so much for me. He's given me so much and he's done so much. And I can hardly do less than to give him my best. So, you know, I want to stand before him when I leave this old world. I want to hear those words, well done, good and faithful servant, enter into the joy of the Lord. So he's got my best. It may not be very good, but it's the best that I can do. And I know that I'll be rewarded for being faithful in giving him my best. Yes, I know that I have done my best for the Lord. So I know that I'm ready to go. Heavenly Father, we can know in our heart whether we're giving God our best Lord, may we give you the very best in every area of our life. We want to know that we've given you our best. So, Lord, we pray that you'll bless us and help us to always be at our best for thee. Now, again, bless us throughout this day of life. Keep your hand upon us. Watch over us. Make us a blessing wherever we go. We ask it in Christ's name. Amen. Well, I'll see you tomorrow now on Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye.